Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So this is a Speedy B ELRS uh, flight controller for my 1S Whoop, and I'm having some issues. So I went out to a race, and I was flying along, uh, lining up for the next gate, and it just fell onto the floor, said RX loss. Now I, I did have a, a race with this flight controller, but just very prematurely, uh, this thing went out on me. So I unplugged it because it wouldn't connect the RX anymore and when I plugged it back in I just had this one LED lit. Uh, this would normally signify that you have a bricked flight controller. Uh, so I went ahead and put it under the microscope and I found that this processor on this side of the processor was not balled correctly from the manufacturer and because Happy Model uses extremely thin PDBs uh, to get that weight down the microprocessor will flex because it's not properly flowed onto the board. So if you just push or add just a little pressure here, you can see that right there on the corner, that's where the, the balling wasn't done correctly. You can actually see that it's not flow, the solder's not flowing all the way around on the pins. So if you just push it down and kind of get it, I'm not applying very much pressure. As you can tell, I have my RX back. That's the green uh, flashing light and then up here is the other one um, so basically I just wanted to come on here and just kind of show you what I'm dealing with and I think that there's going to be a lot of other people that are probably going to be seeing something similar hopefully uh, hopefully you haven't thrown it in the trash yet but I'm just applying a little bit of pressure right here on the corner of the microprocessor uh, and everything is great so I was able to go ahead and get my dump file off of this and then if you, I personally don't own a rework station of quality enough to be able to do this, and you're definitely not going to flow your processor back on with a soldering iron. Um, so let me go ahead and unplug this. So just to kind of give you an idea, to be able to flow this processor back on, you kind of need a, a little bit of equipment. Um, if you're lucky like me and you have a friend named Troy that can do it for you, uh, that's great. You could take it to a cell phone repair uh shop and they might be able to square that on for you uh, just needs to be reflowed back onto the board um, so with some flux on both sides here heat that up and it should flow back on and you should be good to go but when I put it under a microscope I can see that the balling on the uh, on the edges here aren't, isn't, isn't good it's not working out um, so I thought I'd throw that out there you know, real quick kind of a quick tip video I've been really busy with the museum race and uh, other things in life and uh, try to get some more stuff out to you. I got some really cool things coming. So, hey, hopefully this helps somebody out. Let me know in comments if, if, if you applied pressure to your microprocessor and your board came back to life. I'd be really interested to know how many, how many other people are suffering from the thin PDB and the shoddy work done by Happy Model. Uh, they told me to go ahead and send this board back to them. Uh, they would evaluate it and then and send me a replacement but I don't think they realize the shipping cost for me to send this board to China uh, so that's either their way of getting out of fixing the issue or um, they have no idea what shipping is so hopefully this helped you out let me know in the comments and always enjoy the breeze 